What's up with you guys? It is your boy West Coast. So, yo, man, I wanted to do a breakdown, kind of this, or not even just a breakdown, just a, a highlight of this drive, man. And the reason why I think it's important that I bring this to light is because, you know, the Dallas Cowboys basically had this Jacksonville Jaguar game one. Not even basically, we had the game one. And this drive actually takes place right after um, the, the, the fumble recovered by Micah Parsons. So the Dallas Cowboys defense have literally just shocked the Jacksonville Jaguars. Um, Trevor Lawrence was moving the ball down the field. Um, we, you know, my boy J. Ron Curse peanut punched the ball out. Micah Parsons recovers it. So this is the end of the game. You know, the score right now at this point is 34 to 31. And there is literally about a minute, 28 seconds left on the clock. Now, I'm going to roll this as I roll this. As I play this film, I'm going to explain to you guys what exactly Kellen Moore does. Now, I'm going to tell you guys, with 34, you're up 34 to 31 right now. The opposing team has three timeouts. Obviously, you know they have to get the ball back because they want to score to try to tie the game up or win. So you would assume that Kellen Moore would call three running plays. The reason why you would think he would call three running plays is because they have three timeouts. And what's most important right here is not even necessarily scoring or even getting a first down. The most important thing right here is making sure that they use those three timeouts. If you can get a first down, praise God. Because what does that mean? The game's basically over. But no matter what you do on this drive, you have to call three plays that ensures that they call their timeouts. So let's go ahead and take a look what he does. So the first play, 128 on the clock, Ezekiel Elliott, he calls a left end to Ezekiel Elliott. Um, Ezekiel Elliott, I'm going to tell you this on this play. This was horrible play design. Um, if you really see about it, if you really look at it on this play right here, there's like no backside help. I'm going to rewind it a little bit just so y'all can see it. And I'm going to move myself over. This was actually really bad play design on this play right here. Even though, you know, you want to call some plays that are obviously designed to, you know, get the ball to the to, the, to Ezekiel Elliott. And most importantly, you want to call a play that is conducive to what? The, them using their timeout. But also, let's call a running play that is actually designed to work. Like on this, this is a horrible play design. Like first off right here, right? You move Zeke to the opposite side. And let's just look at this, right? One, two, three, four, five. You have five guys on the offensive line, six including the tight end. So what, fellas? If the sixth guy, Jarwin, is on the left-hand side, that means there's what? An extra man on the same side as the play side. I'm going to keep it real with you. This is a horrible play from Kellen Moore. This should have been scratched or Dak should have called to change the play or something. But this, this play was doomed from the beginning. I'm going to just let you see it. And as you can see, there's nobody there. There's nobody there to, to help Ezekiel Elliott to take that backside block. Nobody. All right. So next, on this next play, on this next play, this is going to be a Tony Pollard end around. <laughs> this is going to be a Tony Pollard right around. Tony Pollard is going to get exactly the three yards back that we just lost on the bad play call from from and the bad run from Ezekiel Elliott from a couple minutes ago. Let's throw it real quick. All right, so Tony Pollard comes across the formation, bringing everybody with him because they know we're running the ball. So most likely they're going to do what? They're going to highlight whatever's happening in the backfield. That's what defenses are typically taught to do. So that's exactly what they do in this play right here. They get the ball to Tony Pollard, but at the same time, the defense knows that who's ever moving is probably getting the ball. Why? Because the Cowboys got to run the ball. All right, next play. So guess what, fellas? Guess what? That was first down and 10. So that now it was second and 13, right? So now with that Tony Pollard run, with that Tony Pollard, it is now third and 10. And you were sitting on your you were you were sitting on your 38. Guess what Kellen Moore chooses to do? He chooses to throw the ball. And not only does he decide to throw the ball, he takes a 50-50 shot. He designed a 50-50 shot deep out route to Noah Brown. Now, I don't, I'm don't. i not saying this play was automatically to Noah Brown, but I will say this. He's for sure the number one read on this play because Dak really didn't look anywhere. And to be honest with you, I just don't like this. Listen to me. Even if you're going to pass it on third and 10, which I don't suggest, why don't you run like a slant? Why don't you run like an in route? Why don't you run something that is predicated on getting guys inside so even if they catch the ball, they're still inbound? If Noah Brown catches this ball, he's still out of bounds. 
even if and think about this we're then gonna have to come out there and run the ball again just so we can get the clock going because even if he catches this ball he catches it out of bounds and guess what jacksonville still has a time out but we didn't do that what did the cowboys do we ran we 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 designed a play where Kellen Moore calls a play that's a 50 50 jump ball to noah brown to the out of bounds and guess what it doesn't work and with that guess what happens the jacksonville jaguars are able to save that final timeout that they used with five seconds left on the clock to kick the game tying field goal you guys already know what happened in, in overtime listen this video is not to make excuses this video is simply to highlight that Kellen Moore and this offensive uh, play calling is literally causing the Dallas Cowboys to lose games. And I'm going to tell you this right now, Mike McCarthy, you're a guy who won a Super Bowl. You're, I blame you too for this. You want to know why? Because on that third and 10, there's it is absolutely impossible for him to call that play without you knowing it being called. Hey, man, it's your boy West Coast. Y'all put it in the comment box. What are y'all thoughts? Hey, if you like the video, hit that star button. I promise you I'll drop more content on it. But, yo, this was just something that bothered me, and I had to do a video on it. So you guys already know what it is. Never look down because star's up. Peace.